Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Tris and James's little, you know, project preview. Uh, I meant to show this like a few months ago, I'd say like, you know, five, almost six months ago at this point, but my forgetful brain kind of forgot to do that. I got busy with life and other school projects, so this kind of slipped my mind, and then up until recently, it kind of popped back into my brain. But this is a really important project, as it's about Vulcan. And I know you big companies and those small companies out there really love, you know, people that, you know, know at least the bare bones minimum about Vulcan. Because, let's face it, almost nobody understands this. And hell, I have to admit, I'm still a tad bit confused. Ah, this was one of my most intense projects because I had to basically learn a new engine from the ground up. I, of course, I got some help from, like, the teacher and all that, but at the same time, it's like, you know, it's kind of like, goddamn, look at this. You're pretty much learning a brand new engine, or, well, not an engine, more like a processor. A GPU processor, a graphics processor, from scratch. So, here we are. Um, you know, let's get started with the most important files. Most of this is just, you know, the engine stuff. I didn't really alter the, anything else because I didn't want to mess up anything. I just made a little project in Vulcan, you know, for a school projects project, and then just uh, toyed around with it just for the fun of it. So, this is where most of the magic happens. This is pretty much the bog standard Vulcan renderer. You know, it helps render, you know, the shapes, the camera, the, you know, the lighting, basically setting up the stage. I added in like the lighting and the models and the camera and projection right here. Um, ignore that. That's an old comment I made like a, like, <laughs> like almost a year ago. Whoopsies. Ignore all that. Alright. The, these strokes I I just added these structs just to connect everything together, like the custom little fongs that I made. We'll get to these fongs a bit later, but, you know. Here's the, you know, buffer memory, you know. It helps with, like, you know, making sure it doesn't have a buffer overflow and helps keep the memory in track and... As I said, this is about like model, view, projection, and the lighting positions that help connect the fong and frag or the fong files. We'll get on that later, as I said before. And then we got the model matrix and then the normal matrix. You know, it helps with both the 3D models I've used. And the graphics pipeline, it helps connect the uh, the information of the files, like the models, the textures, and whatever else you want to think of, connected to the engine. And then this stuff is just pretty self-explanatory. This is just, you know, texture stuff. As you can see, it has, like, texture in the name. Just, you know, textures and... You know, fancy, you know, just a slap it on to the models. And then the vertex and indices for the 3D models, you know, just to help create them. And then the pool and the sets are just, you know, storage units pretty much for the information I stuffed into it. And then the buffer and memory connects to the buffer and memory ID here, you know, as I said before, it helps keep track of everything so it doesn't overflow. And then these also help with the 
it basically tells the textures like hey where to go like this pixel goes to this location and this part of the texture goes or the textures goes to that location etc etc and then you know this helps render everything pretty much i don't i think most of this is just default vulcan stuff and then i just shoved some of my custom code into here i forgot where it is also apologies if my mic is a little bit off i'm not using my you know prime setup at the moment so if you hear some peaking i apologize in advance and then you know like for example i added in this entire section you know helps you know set up the window as you play it right there and this part helps for the you know storage this for the you know models and then you know, this is rendering stuff the mo this is just rendering stuff you know pretty self-explanatory helping connect the lighting the textures the models the physics updating the position of the models it's not supposed to be that complicated you know also one more thing i apologize if i sound slightly congested and if i'm breathing out my nose or my mouth a lot because it's allergy season and i'm I'm a little sniffly right now, so if you catch me sniffling on mic during this recording, apologies yet again in advance. My nose is just a bit stuffy and it's allergy season. I don't think I really change much stuff here. This is just default Vulcan stuff, and then I... Oh wait, I did change some stuff, like... You know, I added in the lighting and the push constants right down here. So it pushes the information to the scene. And then the CPP just, you know, basically goes into a bit of more depth, depth into it. Like, uh, for example, I mostly did, most of the work is in here. So where most of the magic happens. And then, like for example, like this is where I get the, how I connect the shader files to the project right here. Pretty self-explanatory. And this is how I, you know, help the secondary shader files that I forgot to mention. Whoopsies. The secondary, where? Where is it? I think it's right here. Draw normals. Right. Nothing. Just some simple clean stuff. I didn't really change anything. Just kept it simple. Didn't want to overcomplicate it. And this is just for textures for the 3D models that I'm going to use, you know. I used Mario because why not? I think Mario is iconic and cool, even though I'm more of a Luigi guy. I wanted to keep it a keep it simple. Keep it simple. And here's the skull model that I, you know, shoved in there. Here's basically all their info. Helps, you know, keep everything together. There's like thousands upon thousands of lines of code in this thing, so it'll take me like three hours to, to explain it all. And I don't think I, I'm going to be real here. I don't think I remember it all. Pretty sure most of this I didn't really modify or change. It's just from the default, you know, Vulcan pack that you download from the Vulcan site, pretty much. Didn't really, uh, you know, fiddle with anything. Just, you know. Oh, yeah, here's this. This is just for texturing. 
All right. Oh man, I forgot how much code is in this baby. It's just some setting up the UBOs for like, you know, the lighting and the projects, the camera, etc. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And for, you know, For scene zero, we got this. This just helps set up the scene, you know, connect everything together into one little, you know, global thing. See, we got like, you know, Mario and all that stuff in there. The lights, the camera, action. <laughs> And then here we go, here we got the the main part, the Vulcan Renderer. Connects everything to one core project. So, you know, this helps set up the camera position, the lighting position, the model positions. Helps make them rotate and update their position, like right down here. You know, help, this also helps with like rendering for the models, textures, and lights. And, uh, <sighs> yeah. It helps connect OpenGL so it could actually do something. And on destroy is just there for when you close the program. I think every coder knows, knows that. And then this is just, ignore all this stuff up here. This is just some old test stuff. It's just some lighting code that I made with the help from a friend because mm, I don't know, I had a bit of trouble, but I got to work. Only need some help with some, you know, math equations because you gotta do a lot in lighting. So here's the model view projection, light position, and then the position of the diffuse. The diffuse is for, you know, colors mostly, just to make it look cool and neon or whatever color you want. So this is where most of the magic happens, you know, just making the equations, making up the colors, the positions, the direction, how intense the lighting you want to be, etc. Pretty self-explanatory. Most of this is just some old testing code as well, so ignore all that. Here's also some base, pretty much the same thing, just written in a different light for the frag instead of the vert, so it could be a little different. Have like pretty much two lights in there. So, yeah, pretty much the same thing. And then draw normals is just, you know, just to connect with the fong and the vert, or the frag and the vert. Nothing, didn't write much in here, so, you know, most of the code is also pretty self-explanatory. I, I mostly write pretty self-explanatory code, like, you know, like a variable is named, like, do this thing, and another variable is called do that thing. You get what I'm saying. Bitdefender, don't bother me right now. Oh, for God's sakes. Sorry for using the Lord's name in vain. But that just really gets under my skin. Anyways, just to end the video, because I kept you here long enough, let's just play the video. Oh, for the Lord's sakes. For God's sakes. And here's what it renders. 
this is just for the lo rotation of both the, you know, the models. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I could turn that off, but I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't opened this project in months, so I forgot where I put it, and I'm a tad lazy. So, here we are. Uh, you know, it... The draw normals helps detect, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, it helps detect like the exact vertices on the model itself. So if you want to know why there's little dots all over both the models, that's why. And as you can see, the lighting is like a neon green or like a lemonade yellow with a little bit of, you know, radioactive contamination in it. And then there's Mario. That's probably Luigi. If you want to use your imagination, this is Luigi, but he died of said radiation poisoning. And this is Mario. He's having a bit of a mental breakdown over his brother's death. and You know. Doesn't know what to do. Doesn't know how to react. So that's probably why he's spinning around. You know. And that's why it's all black around him, because it's like the world is sh shutting off. It's like, Mamma Mia, it's my world. My brother was my world. Not even a one-up mushroom can sh save him now. Mamma Mia. And as you can see, both of them have their textures. Both of them are rendering. They're spinning, updating their positions constantly, as I mentioned before. And yeah, that's about it. I don't want to drag you guys any longer, so I'm probably going to shut this thing off. I hope you enjoyed my Vulcan project that I made, and hope I could get to see you again. See ya.